All right, everybody. You don't have to use a blinker, that little car. This is Slappy with Slappy Adventures. And I am getting back at my commute to work on the motorcycles. I am proud to say I get to ride these bikes a lot more often than the winter time now because I like riding my bikes. <laughs> but these gas prices are getting so daggum silly. These bikes are a little bit easier on gas than my usual transportation. I have V8s and V8s and V8s. Even though this is a straight six GL 1800 cc's of good old Honda horsepower. It's a lot easier on gas than that cock picking V8. With the gas prices going up, is that going to slow your uh, traveling down? That would be the question of the day. Is that going to slow your traveling down like uh, road trips for the ones that like to tour and the ones that like to chase after uh, parties and uh, bike rallies? Is that going to slow you down? I don't think it's going to slow me down too much. I mean, this job has slowed me down tremendously. Well, I, I really just can't do a whole lot. And to be honest with you, it's getting kind of old. But as of right now, this is where we are. But I've had a lot of trips planned when I was working with UPS Freight. I had about five weeks of vacation built up. I worked there for almost 18 years. And uh, really, they, uh, you say you want to take about two weeks off with no pay. Shit, they don't give a damn. Go on. That's your money you messing up. Well, you can really take a trip and, and enjoy yourself. But over here, man, trying to get off work is like almost they're going to pull the teeth. But this is where we are. I am not complaining. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. I'm complaining. <laughs> but nobody cares and nobody wants to hear it. But this is my channel. I can do what the hell I want to do on it. So I'm a damn complain a little bit, doggone it. Shit, I want to take me some good road trips. I had plans to go to, um, to go to, uh, shit, I can't even think. Alaska, man. I must have been to Alaska two years ago. You know what I mean, doggone it. And, you know, I've been here three years this month. And I've had to. 86 my plans to go to Alaska man, but I I'm, I, I'm going if the good Lord willing and the creek don't rise oh Slappy dog was going down there to Alaska I Want to ride to Alaska man. That's that's the big kahoo on my bucket list man So I'm gonna have to do something to make it make that dream come true to make that dream come true. So, uh, yeah, back to the gas prices. <laughs> I got sidetracked with the complaining and wanting to go to Alaska. Uh, what you guys got going on? Are y'all going to still ride your bikes and travel and get out of town on your bikes or even in your cars? I mean, people travel on cars. I don't. I tra I'm traveling this on a bike. But is that going to hinder you? The gas prices? Is it going to stop the flow? I don't think it is for me. I'm still going to do my thing. And I'm going to do it big. I'm going to do it big, you know. I'm going to have me some fun while I can. 
If it's just to ride my bike back and forth to work, that'd be all right too. But uh, <clears throat> plans are we're gonna do Niagara Falls, and we're gonna do uh, South Texas. I'm gonna call this year my run to the border years. Look at them kayaking bars. Yeah. And what I mean by the run to the border years is I want to uh, boats kind of got me a little sidetracked. I'm across the border and uh, Canada. I'm going to cross over the border in Canada. Probably going to ride about 175 miles, 200 miles in Canada. Go in through Detroit, come out on the other side in Buffalo. I've done it twice already, but some of the people we're going with haven't. That'll be real exciting. Then I'm going to go down there to Mexico. I want to enter into Mexico somewhere. And uh, don't know how far I would go or, or what I would actually do if I even uh, just walk across the border and hang out and buy some uh, sombreros, get me a couple of them tacos and sombrero and take a shot of tequila. A shot of tequila. <laughs> and uh, come on back. And that'll be my run to the border, yeah. I would run around to El Paso. Might do a little kid t uh, tent camping. I don't know. But, yeah, those are the places I'm thinking about doing. But I am on my way to work. I got to set my time back. My time, uh... My clock is all kind of caddy -wopper. I got to... Set my time back on my motorcycles. I never did do that yet, so. Well, anyway, just ride with me, you guys, for a little while. I'm head on in here to the job. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my my two minutes of complaining. But I'm a happy kind of guy, guy. I won't complain. <laughs> All right, you guys, just ride with me on in there. watching another episode of Slappy Adventures. Please like, share, and comment. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> hey, stay tuned for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.